let's use a number line to determine the corresponding fraction greater than 0 and less than or equal to 1. First, we need to determine the number of parts our number line has been partitioned into. 1, 2, 3. This number line has been partitioned into three parts or thirds. Next, I'm going to label each part. This is one third, two thirds, and three thirds. I want to know the fraction that is represented by G. Here is G. G is two-thirds because it is the second part of the number line. Let's try another one. First, let's determine how many parts our number line has been partitioned into. One, two, three, four, five, six parts, or sixths. Next, label the parts. One sixth, two sixths, three sixths, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths. I want to know what fraction is represented by C. Here is C. C is 2 sixths because it is the second part of the number line. 